right, so here we go. We're going to mow it at three inches and three inches. St. Augustine grass uh, in the dead of winter in Savannah, Georgia. So it's the end of December here. And like I was saying, we're going to use the select knob here. So full mulch shuts the back door in there. Full bag opens it when it's open. It rear discharges. So we're not going to mulch it this first shot. We're going to rear discharge it. Then we're going to mulch it. And then we'll see what we got. Cool. So, what I like about it is the mower never clogged up one time and we were able to mow right through it. What I don't like about it is it spreads everything out too far. So now, I need to use a blower or a rake to get it back in position. Okay, now, now you can control all that blowout by closing that door some on the back of the mower, and that's just what we'll do. We're halfway. That was better. It didn't blow the stuff out like it was doing earlier on full wide open. Uh, so now we'll just go ahead and close it up. And now we'll do a full mulch. We check to see, remember the mess that we had. Now we check to see what we got. Did you love this good one? And so from that big mess, that's what's left. So if you're concerned about having stuff to haul away and you can't, and you don't want a bag, but you got to do a cleanup, there are options. So if you got really thick grass, instead of your mower bogging down, mulching, and it's not working, you can go over it, get it chopped down, get it chopped up, redirect it, and mulch it. We'll do this now. And we're just going to mulch, straight mulch.
pretty darn good. You can take your blower, take your rake, whatever. Whenever you rake over like kind of weird weeds and stuff, be prepared to go back over it with your mower because you might span some stuff up. And so that's what's left. And over there you got that tiny pile right in front of the mower. So like I said, if it's an issue about space, you can't, you can't haul stuff away. And there are options. Mulching is good, but you know, you need to be careful. Too many leaves, dead leaves are not exactly putting good nutrients back into the lawn. was there and here would have definitely overfilled this garbage can. So you see mulching, mowing, side discharge, remulching. If you don't have a bag or if you can't haul stuff away, there are all ways of doing it. The Honda gives you the select knob where you can adjust how much blows out. Many other mowers just mulch, good mulching mower. That's all you need. Anyways. I'll go ahead and blow off this backyard, shut the gate, and I'll meet you guys on the other side there, and we're going to go pulverize some leaves.
I could have cheated a lot earlier and just blew it all into the creek, into the where the county cuts. And if you if you got heartburn about that, don't, because they don't do crap. They just come with their bush hogs when it real tall like that. They reach down and they get what they can with their bush hog little arm thingy, and they leave all that crap there. It's not like they're cleaning anything up. So leaves aren't gonna hurt anything. Little clippings and stuff like that ain't gonna hurt anything. They come with their bush hogs. They pulverize the ground and they just leave it. Um, and three, six months later, they come back again. This last time was almost a year. So don't worry about throwing clippings over the fence onto the county ground where they come with the bush hog. Don't even worry about that crap. Not here anyways. Some places maybe not. But I know what I can do and what I shouldn't do. Uh, but I could have cheated and I could have moved these leaves into the it down the creek a lot earlier. But that wouldn't have been fun. I wanted to pulverize it and show you guys this old craftsman mower that was given to me. Uh... And so we got it all cleaned up. We got it cleaned up pretty nice. Um, and then we just took the dust and blew it over, you know, what was left. That's it. So, anyways, just a little, uh, I just wanted to make a little fun video for you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Tell me about the whistle. The whistle. The whistle. The whistle.